Hey guys, Buell Machine here. Today we're going to review the Buell Tooth Quick Shifter. I got an evaluation set at a discount from Dave at Buell Tooth uh, to give some feedback and general impressions on. And so I spent some time, I installed it, and uh, this will be my second ride with the shifter. Installation is pretty easy. Um, there are very detailed instructions included with uh, the quick shifter uh, with pictures and uh, the kit is bolt-on for the XB. Uh, you will need to possibly have your ECM updated um, in order to activate the feature. Um, but the actual physical installation is simple. Uh, I spent more time trying to zip tie my wiring so that it's a clean install than I did actually bolting on pieces. So it's nice and easy. For those of you who don't know what a quick shifter does, a uh, quick shifter essentially allows you to have more seamless changes without having to use your clutch. So you don't have to pull your clutch lever in in order to change gears. And this is accomplished uh, one of two ways. Either uh, you cut spark or you cut fuel. Um, and it's for a very brief period of time. So with uh, the Buell quick shifter, I believe it's about 120 milliseconds. So when the sensor detects pressure, so your foot pushing up against the lever, it will cut the engine for 120 milliseconds, therefore allowing you to upshift um, without any difficulty. And this is done while you're at, at whatever throttle position you're at, but aggressive acceleration. Um, and the feeling is actually kind of cool. Um, it's just seamless, there's no pause, your bike is uh, essentially accelerating at whatever speed it's going at and there's no interruption of uh, power. The goal behind it is for you to maximize acceleration, uh, more, more so on a racetrack. Uh, for local street driving you would still use your clutch the same way you'd pull the lever in and um, change gears the traditional way but for quick acceleration uh, this definitely makes things a little simpler you don't have to think about pulling that clutch lever or anything like that so I'll uh, accelerate and let you hear how it goes I'm going to use it now to see how smooth that is. The one thing you want to uh, be aware of is that since the sensor detects uh, pressure upwards, you will not want to load the lever. Um, I used to do this all the time, which is put an upward pressure, slight upward pressure on the lever prior to pulling my clutch lever in. And that seemed to help me with the clunky XB gearbox for shifting. If you do that with a quick shifter, you will notice it will cut power um, without shifting. So that's not beneficial. So when you shift with a quick shifter, you need to shift with what I call purpose. So when it's time to shift, you push up with purpose on the lever and continue to push until you are in gear. 
do not pause at any point or it makes it a unclean shift. Um, another thing about the quick shifter is it's only upshift, at least uh, this setup. Um, so downshifts still require uh, flipping the throttle and pulling the clutch in and all that, all the good stuff that goes with normal downshifting. The reason for this is downshifting is a little more involved than upshifting. It requires engine speed matching and all that good stuff. And uh, there's just not the, the hardware is not built in on the XP. So it's, there's no bolt on kit for that. General impressions that I have so far are that it is nice and seamless and smooth, as far as I can tell. Um, it's just fun for uh, freeway acceleration, or uh, I suppose if you had to get off the line real quick uh, on the street, you could use it. But uh, most local driving, I still just shift normally using my clutch lever. Okay, so this quick shifter works best with hard acceleration. Um, I found that uh, shifts are generally smoothest between the 4,000 and 5,000 RPM mark. Uh, anything above 5,000 seems like there's a little bit of a lurch when you switch gears. And where this comes into play is mostly when I'm considering shift fork wear because I, don't know, I just had my transmission serviced and third, my third gear shift fork replaced due to wear. Um, so I assume that most people out there who are riding have concerns about premature transmission wear when it comes to aftermarket parts. about pricing. Um, my model is a pre-production model uh, given to me at a discount. So to me it's a no-brainer. Uh, it's definitely worth giving it a try and reviewing it. Giving you guys a good impression of what this product is before you buy it. The, the retail model I believe goes for a little bit more than 200 bucks for just a quick shifter. For those of you who do not already own a fuel tooth dongle or a UCM spy cable or anything like that, you will have to purchase a, a Bluetooth dongle. Uh, fuel tooth sells that as well. He also has a package that includes the Bluetooth unit with the quick shifter. Um, I think it's probably around like around 250. So it might be worth your while to buy the package if you're uh, set on getting a quick shifter. Because you will need to go into your and change settings. Um, Fuel Juice does offer the service of uh, selling you a ECM 
them that is compatible with your bike that has the function activated. The, the function is built in to the ECM of all 2008 and above XBs. So what it requires is uh, some sort of activation so that when you connect your quick shifter to the port on the wiring harness, when you put pressure on the quick shifter, it will cause the engine to cut out. Um, personally, uh, Dave just had me send him, in, send him my map and he was able to change the function for me. I do not know if that is a service he offers, but I know he does offer full ECMs for sale with that function activated.